my channel. So for today's video, we're going to be talking about places and local hidden gems and things to do in the San Francisco Bay Area. And even if you are local, maybe you might not know some of these hidden gems. So before I start the video, it doesn't feel right to not talk about what is going on in the San Francisco area and all around the nation. San Francisco is one of the hotspots for AAPI hate crimes and if you are someone who is traveling in the San Francisco and you see it happen, please don't be a bystander. Consider donating to Stop AAPI Hate. I'll put the link in the description box below. But other than that, please stay safe while you're traveling and you know, be aware and mindful of your surroundings and other people. So a lot of these items are outdoor items where you can either bring your dog or um, you can visit while socially distanced and still feel safe. So the first spot is Chrissy Field. This has a great view of the San Francisco Bay Area and it's great for dogs to run around and for you to enjoy a view and the weather there is usually pretty nice. It can get a little windy. I mean, everywhere in San Francisco can get a little windy, so remember to just bring a jacket. The next spot I wanted to talk about is Battery Godfrey. It's a cute little spot. There is um, not that much parking. It has the iconic view of the two trees um, with the San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge right in between it. Around there, there's a lot of other little spots that you can explore as well. It's um, There's like a cliffside with more trees and it's just beautiful. You can even go down to the beach. Next spot I want to talk about is, is Lands and Labyrinth. This spot is kind of another view from a different perspective of the Golden Gate Bridge and there's like a little rock maze that you can kind of go in between, walk around and there's a very short hike to get there but it's a really awesome spot and you're really close to the ocean, you can see the waves and um, you have a great view. The next spot I wanted to talk about is the Palace of Fine Arts. If you're into architecture, this is a great spot to kind of get that architectural feel. Next up is Sutro Baths. This is a really popular one, so it gets really crowded. There is parking though, a lot of people go in and out, so I think it's really easy to, you know, find a spot. If not, you can always take public transportation. But Sutro Baths is just an abandoned bathhouse that a lot of people like to go to because the sunset there is amazing. A lot of people actually take wedding photos there, um, but it's just a really nice serene area with, again, a lot of the iconic San Francisco trees, the water, and a great view of the sunset. Next up is the Legion of Honor. Again, if you're into architecture and museums, this is a great spot to hang out. A lot of people also take uh, wedding photos here with the columns, but there's ample parking and it's just a little bit of a drive away from all the other things that I will mention in this video. Next up is if you're a beach person, Baker Beach is by far one of my favorite beaches in San Francisco just because it is super dog friendly. Great view of the Golden Gate Bridge as well as there's a good, you know, diverse crowd there. So you're, it's never the same. So there's always something happening there and it's a great beach to be on. Next up is Lover's Lane Presidio. This is a cute little kind of walkway near Baker Beach that you can just go and just check out the way the logs were placed by um, this artist right here. And it's a cute little spot to take photos and just kind of walk your dog through a ecosystem within an ecosystem. Next up, one of the steepest streets in San Francisco is Lombard Street. You can either walk down, up, or drive up and down the street. It is super fun to bring people who haven't been there or may be visiting the San Francisco area. The next thing I wanted to talk about is kind of um, a peculiar one and it is San Francisco City Hall. So the reason why I say that is because the San Francisco City Hall is actually a very beautiful grand place. There's a huge staircase and it is very iconic and very beautiful. A lot of people love doing their weddings there because it's cheaper than the typical wedding venue and also on top of that it is public. Um, make sure you just don't bring you know anything that they might confiscate while you're in there but it is an awesome place to see old architecture and um, you know see the hustle and bustle of San Francisco. Next up is if you're visiting during Christmas you can check out Union Square and within Fairmont Hotel there is a giant gingerbread house so this is kind of a wild card. The next one is a little bit more north of the San Francisco area and that is the Marin Headlands. That area has a variety of different act outdoor activities as well as great views. Mount uh, Tamalpai is up there. It is beautiful and there tends to be a lot of traffic so do be careful trying not to go during rush hours. 